Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of, well, I'm going to mispronounce it probably, but Ostakusi uh, 22. This is by Taker LS. This is 208.97 megabytes to download. There are two versions of this map out. One of them is for all platforms. One of them is for PC and Mac players only. The only difference is that the PC only one has multi-terrain. The rest of it should be exactly the same. So I am going to do a tour on the one that is for all platforms. This is an FYI to you guys. Um, so... This one right here, I'm going to read the description and we'll get started looking at it. It says, Welcome to the Baltic Sea. The landscape is characterized by hills and hedges. There are small and big farmers. Small or big farmer, it's your decision. you got all possibilities to be there. Uh, 66 fields and meadow. Five farms, one biogas plant. Four woods for forestry. Own buildings, own textures, own license plates. Realistic stubble destruction. Dig and, wo dig and water hole fill up by rain. <laughs> I've, there's got to be some translation issues here. Animated train, animated chips, prepared for precision farming with own soil map. Um, seasonal map objects, five selling points, animal dealer collectibles. Have fun on Ostakusti and successful harvest. There are eight required mods. Um, let me look at them here. Yeah, so eight required mods. There is the wind turbine package by Razak. The bunker cell kit by Mohawk. The Dutch contractor shed by Dutch Modding Incorporated. Then it also requires the old farm package, the old cow shed, EU factories, Dutch contractor shed, and cow shed pack. Or excuse me, not the Dutch contractor shed, but the rest of those. All by DMI 20mm Normandy. And then the Dutch shed pack by uh, Ref Farmer and DMI 20mm Normandy. So, eight required mods. They'll download automatically if you download this map from the in-game mod hub. Otherwise, you have to download them individually using the links in uh, or on the website. All right, let's go ahead and hop into it. Here's the map. We are up there right next to our starting farm, it looks like, which is going to be field 59, 56, and 3. Um, yeah, well, field 13, I guess, and 50 up there, and 63 up there. But those are the lands, 59, 56, and 3. A um, lot of different chunks of land on here. Some of them are big, some are small, some very odd-shaped fields here. Um, what I think we'll do, where is the shop? The shop's down there. We'll see if we have a vehicle we can drive from this area down this way. It'll be easier just to kind of start up there. Maybe we'll even take a tractor down to the shop and then hop in the pickup. But yeah, we'll take a look at the whole map here in a bit. Um, the crop calendar, I believe, is it's a little bit modified. Yep, wheat and barley are a little bit different. So it has a custom crop calendar here. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Um, we'll go ahead and slowly scroll through all these so you can see where everything is sold at. Um, if you're curious, you can slow down the video down below or you can pause the video once you get to a specific crop type if you're curious about one in particular. But we're just going to scroll through just so you have an idea where all the different crop types and fill types can be sold on the map if you're curious about that. But some of you may not be, but some of you may be. So we just do this. And if you don't care at all, of course, you can always just skip ahead a little bit. But um, yep, we're almost done anyways already. So And there we go. Stone's at the very bottom. Uh, we have a few pieces of equipment starting out in New Pharma. We'll take a look at those in just a second in the store. Start off with $100,000, no starting loan, no animal pens. There are contracts in the fields you don't own. No production chain starting out, and there are 100 collectibles to be found. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn that off there um, just to help me out. We'll go back up to the map. But yeah, so the, the uh, starting farm is right here. We're actually at our sleep trigger right now. Um, entrance, the entrance right over here. So let's take a look in the store what our starting equipment is going to be. Um, so we start off with a Fent Fabric 515C, a Kloss Carrot 140TD trailer, small cultivator, small cedar, sprayer, front loader. Uh, we have a pallet fork and a bucket for the front loader. We have two weights, a Kloss W1200 and 10 Winkle FGB600. And then we also have uh, this guy right here. Um, this is like a weight almost, you could probably use it as a silage compactor too. Uh, but this is the Amazon T-Pack U. So there you go, um, all that stuff in there. And I'm going to fast forward time just a little bit so it's about midday for us so we can see a little bit clearer. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's take a look at the starting farm. Can't open that. A lot of our stuff in storage there. Good detail on it. Some different supplies in here. It's just kind of nice starting out. Nice little picnic area over here. I don't think we have anything terribly crazy. These are weights over here. Yeah, they're sitting on the pallets. I think that's kind of cool. I believe the pallets are they're not part of the weight. They're just decorative there, but it's kind of neat that they're sitting on it. Um, and I don't think this is anything in particular. Yeah, just a decorative building. Um, and this goes out to our field right out there across the way. And then it's considering this uh, over here we go. Here it is. A little grass meadow here, which is kind of nice that we own. Uh, so there you go. That's the starting farm. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll actually take this guy. 
around the first part of the map tour just because we have a vehicle. So we'll just do that. Um, we're going to take a right first because there's something up here I want to show you guys first. And it'll give us a good view of the map up here from the coastline. So you can see we're kind of nestled in this little village or city or how or town or however you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, docks throughout there. And we will do a flyover at the very end as we usually do. So um, we will get a good view of everything. But up here we do have the uh, stones cell point. The stone cell point, yep. Be a lot of good detail. We got the beaches and everything. And then here's the stones cell point right here, which I'm assuming you're just going to sell stones at if you'd like to. But we're going to we're going to loop back and head past where we started, past the the starting farm, until we get down to the vehicle shop. Then we'll end up grabbing another vehicle just to uh, make it a little bit easier to travel. That deer was floating in the air back there. Still floating? Yep, sure is. Floating deer. Love it. <laughs> That is fantastic. Yeah, this field on the left-hand side is one we own. There's a lot of trees around the edges, so uh, just be aware of that. Some of you guys are not going to be a fan of that in terms of trying to farm the area, but other you, others of you will not care too much about that. Here we go, starting farm right there. And then as we continue down this way, on the left-hand side here, we have the grain mill and a lime station right in there. So grain mill production point and a lime station for you. See the lime station right there and a little bit more of the production point on that side. Interesting field there with a couple like little ditches in there, which of course you can still mow and do most of the stuff on all the rest of it. So have that available to you. But yeah, so we'll continue down this way and uh, I will, we should get to the vehicle shop here shortly. And once we get there, we'll grab ourselves a, a pickup truck and uh, we'll continue from there. Left hand side right here, you can see if we go into our map. We have ourselves the dairy production point. And then what is that guy over there? That just uh yeah, just a water purchase point up over there. We'll see that in the flyover. And then we have the vehicle shop coming up up here on the left hand side as well, which we can see kind of through the trees there. We'll pull into it. Yeah, here we go. I think this is the way. Hedges don't appear to have collisions on them, so that's a that's a relief there. So here's our vehicle shop. Is there a shop trigger here? Yeah, there it is right over here. Oh, there's our entrance over here. All right, so we'll go ahead and purchase ourselves a pickup truck. Possibly, there we go, okay. I would have thought it would have spawned over there, to be honest, but it spawned right here, so there we go. All right. We're gonna head out and take a look at the bottom half of the map through here. It is kind of difficult to see with all the trees everywhere, so we'll try to get as good of a camera angle as possible. Nice little side road there. Actually, a little walking path, I guess it would be. Nice little side road. Nice little walking path there. Field 13 on our left-hand side right there. That is one of our starting fields. And down here, this appears to be the biogas plant, which isn't showing up on the map, which means if we purchase it, we will probably own that because you can see that looks like that's what that is right there uh so seven hundred eighty six thousand dollars to buy so definitely pretty pricey um so we'll go ahead and purchase it real quick and there it goes it shows up on there and i'm assuming it should show up yep in there as well now that we purchased it so after you purchase it you'll be able to we'll be able to use it to do whatever you need to do um so we're down here what we're going to do is we're going to take a right kind of loop around this way we'll pass the hansen wholesaler and then head down this bottom portion and then up over this way, passing all this stuff through here. A lot of the, the cell points are right down here in this area. So we'll kind of work our way around there. So big bunker silos and stuff there. Really big uh, BGA setup, to be honest. Travel through here if we can. Not getting on a collision. Yeah, lighting's a little dim on the map, but it's not too bad, to be honest. Um... And more power to them, if that is what is realistic to the area. Right down here, we have the Hansen All Sale. Right there. That's what that one is, correct? So make sure you have Hansen Wholesaler, sorry. Take a left here. And this will shoot us across the map on the bottom. Over to the rest of the stuff we need to take a look at. And then we'll do a flyover of the map, which will get these trees out of our way and allow us to probably see a little bit more. This is crazy, these trees. I'm not personally, I, I mean, the trees are nice, but this thick, personally, I'm not a fan of it on maps just because 
even if it is realistic to the area, just because it is a little frustrating to drive around and be able to take a look at stuff a little bit easier. So I'm not a huge fan of the trees. I'm actually going to zoom in because this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we can see a little bit better from down here, quite honestly. But yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of them, but... Ooh, get a little air there. Ooh, that was close. Thought we were going to lose it a little bit worse than that. Yeah, there's a lot of trees on here. As you, I mean, as you guys can see as we're driving through. All right, here's kind of another village down here, which is where we have a lot of those other additional cell points. So if we go down here, nice parking lot there. If we go into here, this is just basically a bunch of cell points all kind of just stacked on top of each other. Now, the one thing that's not on here is the animal dealer. It's not marked on the map, but it, it looks like it's right here. Yeah, so there, the animal dealer is right here where we're at, but you can see it's not marked on the map. We do have the livestock market cell point of the live wood cell or LVE wood cell, LVE wood chip cell, uh, country trading point live or LVE, sorry, I keep saying live. Uh, lime station, another lime station down here, the LVE potato cell and the LVE sugar beet cell. So you can see lots of cell points through here. So make sure you tag it so you know where you're gonna sell and everything like that uh, to make it a little bit easier for you. But you see you got cell points, lime station right there, all over the place in there. So kind of a compact system of uh, cell points. I will say this though, regardless of how you feel about it, there is a ton of really nice detail on this map. And it feels like a like a real place. So that's kind of a nice feature. Alright, we'll head out this way towards the uh, final point on the map that we haven't taken a look at, and then we'll do a flyover and call it good, I think, at that point. So if we head up here and take a right. I do like the walking paths as well, it's kind of a nice feature. If we head down in here to kind of this other village point or this other group of housing and such. This is going to go well. Right in here, I believe. Yeah, right here. So we have another cell point right here, which we're up over here now. This is the country trading point. Uh, Haga, I guess. Uh, but there you go. Okay, so we're going to go do a flyover. We haven't taken a look at a lot of this stuff up here. So we'll probably head that direction first. But yeah, so you can see there's some forestry areas, a lot of big fields. There's a lot of obstacles. Course play would probably be really nice, but even honestly, this stuff is even a little too difficult, probably a lot of it for course play to handle. Um, there's just a lot going on. Course play would even struggle a little bit on here, um, but still it looks really nice. I do like the nice beach setup down here. And I also like that we are able to access it as players um, on here. So it's got a nice kind of rocky beach front, nice beach front like hotel here. Um, which is really nice. I actually really like that as a feature. A lot of little ditches in the fields and stuff like that. Um, you got your rock cell point there. You got our kind of uh, place for boats here. You can see we have some different ships. Well, at least that one over there animated moving around down there. Uh, if we head down this way, uh, we got ourselves more cell points, stuff like that through here. And then our starting farm should be... That's the store. Did I pass the starting farm? Yeah, starting farm's up here. That's right. Did pass it right here. Here's the starting farm right here. So... You do own this meadow, and then this field back here, field 50. So you own those two fields there. You get your big kind of city or town area right here at the vehicle shop right there. Um, and up this way, this is a... Uh, this looks like this should have something going on as well. This might just be an extra farm. Let's go ahead and purchase that. See if anything pops up. Yeah, okay, so a fuel tank, farmhouse, and a silo here. So you have all that set up for you um, if you want that. Let's make sure I didn't miss any other farms um, on the map. I don't... No, if I did, it did say, it does say five farms, actually, to be honest, in the description with looking at that. So um, there's probably five other farms. That's probably one right there. Yep, that probably is 100% one. Large tank, fuel tank right there. That's a, that's a, whatchamacallit right there. That's another farm right there. That's probably, that'll be four. That one's got a cow barn and a farmhouse. And there should be another one. Oh, I bet you it's that. Yep, there we go. A cow barn and farmhouse. So one, two, three four and five is up here so there we go okay yeah so that's what i was missing there i apologize for that i normally try to buy all the land as we're going through but i didn't do it this time we got the bga down here and then we looped around that way you can see we got another cell point out there that kind of bottom road that goes through there it does seem a little kind of dark up here and kind of gloomy um even though it's showing this would be the brightest it would be because it's about midday and the sun's out so 
Um, but it does show a little bit, or seem a little bit gloomy, but yeah, there you guys go. I actually really like this farm here in the center. I like that one, but there you go. That is the map. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.